Hey and welcome to the MX-5 guide on Lime Rock GP. This track is fairly easy and offers many opportunities for learning. If you haven't tried it yet, you should definitely race around here. Turn 1 is the only spot which requires some practice, but it also helps you to develop a feeling for the momentum of your car. So start your engines and let us jump right into the guide. We are on the straight before the first braking zone, which offers the only safe opportunity for overtakes. You can try to attack on the inside or block it when there is someone behind you. When you are on a normal lap you want to approach the first turn on the outside and use the 200 meter board on the left as marker for braking. Be gentle on the brakes and attack the inside curb. And this turn it's important that you are smooth with your inputs. You want to brake patiently in one motion and accelerate in one motion as well. A common mistake that beginners tend to do is to become too slow at the entry of the turn which they try to correct by engaging the throttle, which makes them too fast, and in the end, they jump between brakes and throttle until they reach the exit. This is slow and costs a lot of time. So keep it in mind, hit the brakes once and decelerate deep into the turn, until you reach your desired speed. From this point on, you want to get back on the throttle to maintain your momentum, and slowly engage it further the closer you get to the exit. You want to press both pedals exactly once on your way through this turn. Make sure you practice this turn correctly, it helps you to develop a clean technique. Only one step on the brakes and one step on the throttle. On your way out you want to attack the exit curb and accelerate onto the straight. There's no great brake marker around here, I had the brakes shortly before I reached the turn. We want to sacrifice this turn to get a nice run onto the next straight. That's why you want to stay in third gear and stick to the inside. Stay on the inside, be patient on the throttle until you know that you will hit the exit curb and keep pushing the car to the left when you accelerate out of the turn. Now you will see why it was important to stick to the left. If you are far enough on the left side, you can take this turn flat out and carry all your speed onto the next straight. The chicane is coming up. Make sure you brake early enough. You don't want to take too many risks, else the curbs can cause serious damage to your car. Use the tree as marker and hit the brakes before you reach it. The curb is part of the track, drive on it to get a nice and wide angle for your turn in. The entry itself is tricky. You want to avoid the rest curbs, at the same time there's another straight coming up which means that you need to be early on the throttle. You can use the first curb as orientation and engage the throttle when you reach it. With more practice you will be able to accelerate slightly sooner, like you see me doing it here, which gains you some additional time on the way up the hill. The last turns are easy. Stick to the left, lift for a brief moment while you turn in and engage the throttle again before you reach the apex. The curb is steep, generally you want to avoid it to keep the car stable. The same applies to the last turn. Stick to the left on the entry, lift while you turn in and don't be too aggressive over the inside curb. That's it, the cockpit lab with my inputs will come up next. You can find my ghost files and telemetry on the community discord, the link is in the description down below. Thanks for your support here on YouTube, Twitch and Patreon, it helps my channel a lot. If you want to support my content you can find more infos in the description. You can also drop a like if you enjoyed the guide to give it a small boost. I wish you good luck for the next week and see you next time.